Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Brag from Braggio hey. and Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. Uh, lots of news to get through this week, but let's start with our week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, ben, how'd you do? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, I won Locals on Tuesday and I lost to Jake today, so it kind of seems redundant. I, lo- I lost to his absolute trash pile, so all of my... <laughs> How dare you? You all lost of... to your own hubris is what you lost to. You're like, oh, anyway, I'll get into it in my game. Yeah, I brick game one and brick game three, and was like, oh, I lost to Dyrell, I just lose. That's a very good point, though, hubris. So, mm. like, oh, for context, when I, you know how I was starting out, and I was like, oh, I'll leave this card in my deck just to see what happens. What was it? It was the card that I had, had bricked on. Ah, yeah. perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, like... I had a bunch of cards to put in against Jake, but more to take out. So I was like, ah, uh, a lot of these cards are kind of redundant. I'll just keep these two in here. And then I drew one of them and was like, this is a dead card in my hand. Followed up with two other bricks. And I was like, I can bait four of these negations, but I can't bait five. Uh, Damn, Snake Eyes sucks. Yeah. <laughs> can only bait out four negates. <laughs> yeah, two of the negations were like imperfect evenly. Yeah. It was like Snake Eyes Ash, uh, the Anima, because he put his lightness down and talked to Dragon under the Anima column. And Ooh. then it was uh, Crash It, Imperm, Evenly, Activate Field Spell. Nothing. Because the last two cards in my hand were fucking Diabells, so like the Illusion, and then Flame Burg. So I was like, these cards suck. Um, Wait, you just couldn't summon the Diabells? No, because you have to have a Simple Spoils and Grave. You never Simple Spoils and Grave? You never got that far. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Otherwise, it would have been great. That was the reason why I left it in, because I was like, if I see a Sinful Spoils, it's just a free summon. Yeah. <laughs> like, sure. Um, but that trap for that combo has a grave effect. Mm-hmm. A horrible grave effect. Wait, it just, that's the dodge spell and trap negate, uh, destruction, yeah? Yeah. 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 I was like, oh, this has a set. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> has to be a like, set spell and trap card yeah like if it was a face up it was just a spell and trap card it, fantastic I'm so i could have sh- bounced my field spell i'm sure there's a situation for it but it, it is not it's nah. not at all time no 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 worth um, keeping in mind but i won locals on tuesday uh yeah it's pretty free i wasn't in condition to think much so i was like no i'll play snake eyes <laughs> and it was it was pretty free <laughs> that deck is brain dead as fuck like, it does not take much brain cells to pilot Sneak Eyes competently to win games. Yeah, that's it. Like, yeah. going, oh, I totally fucked that up. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. I can just... Yeah, it's fine. I've got three hand traps yeah. and I'll get them next time. Yeah. <laughs> but that's where the hubris comes in. Where mm. just so many times where it's just, oh, ignore... Like, pl- yeah. <laughs> today against Kurt, I was like, oh, damn, my hand sucks. It was like four hand traps in the field spell and I was like, this isn't good at all. Top deck's Ash. This is great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bragg, how was your week? Uh, no in no IRL games, just... Uh, uh, did we cover us missing Duel Link's worlds? Yeah, we missed yeah. Duel Link's yeah. right, we missed Rush Duel's worlds. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, well, I'm definitely not touching the speed duel element. Uh, Bragg just didn't realise that it ended when it did, because it ended two weeks before the other one. Yeah, which makes sense. I speed just, duel's st- <laughs> still going. Yeah, I thought I had a week. Rush Duel's well, I thought gone. I had an extra week. No, yeah. Uh, and then now I'm in... Master Duel 1, uh, not doing very well. Yeah. Well, this one, it doesn't really matter if you're doing well. You just need to get to the next bit. Yeah. So you just plug along. Yeah. When's the... When When do we get... Next week. No, no, when do we get the next retro thing? It'll probably be after. I yeah. doubt they'll start the retro thing that we didn't find out about in Bad Sources. Um, it was on Twitter. Was it? Yeah. Where? Oh, someone tweeted it. Okay. You were meant to keep yourself separated from the situation, Jake. I am still separate. I wasn't on the podcast. Anyway, um, yeah. Because I, I only have like 20 days to complete that battle pass. <laughs> and I'm refusing to touch the game. <laughs> so. Oh, wait. You should... Why would you not go in now when it's free Did, gems? Yeah, the, the gems. The gem hall. Oh, from... it's free gems. Yeah, well, I should. You gotta... Yeah. I'll That's, grind you have... it tonight. You say grind, you're playing Snake Eyes in there. You're gonna yeah, fucking but I play Snake, Snake Eyes in Snake. real life. Yeah. yeah, it's practicing for the oceanics you're going to in like I don't know. two weeks. Sometimes it doesn't feel yeah, like... Yeah, I guess. Just take Max E out of your deck and then it's exactly the same. It is I don't even think I have Max E in my deck just because I literally built my deck from IRL. Oh, there you go. See? Right. And who says you can't test for <laughs> proper format in Master Duel? 
I mean, yeah, all I draw is Maxi and Ash just in the same hand constantly. It's like, well, well can't play with this. What I can I, stop you playing, but... What if I use Maxi and then I draw both my Poplars? Does it trigger off drawing it? No. No. Ah. That's why I'm like, what if I draw my Poplars? Because we're giving Despicable Me free branding here. Run three Poplars. Yeah, Despicable Me overtaking uh, Hello Kitty Yu-Gi-Oh. Very quickly. It felt like yeah. two weeks that we had the two little plushy things. This is my problem because Lucas got me all of them. I didn't end up chasing any of them because I realised in person they look terrible. They do look terrible, but if you <laughs> keep them in the box and display them in the boxes, it looks great. <laughs> you can think about how they're going to look. Oh, there's a Game Boy game <laughs> there now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That tape's cool. I'll put one of the sealed Game Boy games you've got in Japan. That is, that is nice. I like you, the way you should, that's you should be able to see that in there. I mean, if Ben wasn't Fine. literally leaning into the frame, no, I think I, think, I, think I went out of frame there, but yeah, you can see it for the most part on the podcast. But yeah, thank you to Lucas for getting me all of the pieces. How about you? Uh, me. So uh, Tuesday I played uh, the same shit deck uh, but did badly. And then today I played the same shit deck and did well. Um Funny so <laughs> game one, I versed Hayden, or round one rather, uh, summoned... What's Hayden playing? Fluffle. Oh. <laughs> uh, he's been looking at other decks and I was like, I wonder if he got one. Like, Just looking. Way. Just yeah. looking. Just look, no touch. Um, yeah, so played uh, him first round, summoned uh, Vanity's Ruler. Is that the one that lets you special but not the opponent? Yeah. Yeah, I summoned that. Um in two of our three games um <laughs> no sorry no we only played two games sorry my bad my bad my bad oh no because <laughs> he was unsure again. about like the whole um king sark situation he could have outed the board and then i would have literally been top ducking a medora for turn but he didn't pop the field the, the king sark well he needed to crash in with the horus first because like he'd set up access code and stuff and first popped the king sark so that he could then get rid of the Imseti, but then Imseti sent the um, thing because a card left the field. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, what do you do? Um, round two. Who do I first round two? Loza. Yeah, um, similar sort of things. Uh, so we're floodgate decks. <laughs> yeah, I floodgated him more than he floodgated me. The Battle of the Sarcophagus? This is, this is, this? No, he was on Dragoon Turbo today. Oh. Damn. But yeah, uh, King Sark just doesn't give a fuck about Dragoon. Because <laughs> you just ram into it. Um, and then, yeah, our game three. Um, you held an imperm for uh, the Vanity's Ruler, but yeah. instead I had Light and Darkness Dragon. Yeah. Game three, I had one in, one hand trap and was just like, I'll just hold it until the end. And he summons a Floodgate monster. He summons a Floodgate monster. I mean, he, summoned... He, summoned, he summoned the wrong Floodgate monster. Mm-hmm. Not the one that I wanted him to. I was like, hmm. That's a problem. I can't believe why. I was out. digging for so long too. If you'd imperm that, my turn would have been over. I would have yeah. had Happy and Coach King, and that was it. <laughs> Probably should have. <laughs> oh, hindsight. In retrospect, here we are. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I've been on Master Duel doing the uh, WCQ thing. What I are think you playing? I'm, to, um, I'm playing Hawkist. Yeah. Oh, I also think the reason why I held the imperm was because I also just didn't really have any way to play. I top deck the Ash. The rest of my hand literally was just passing back to you. Yeah, so if it weren't for the Ash, you weren't mm. playing anyway. Yeah, so I was holding Imperm to be like, eh. If I see a Droplets, I can activate Imperm, chain Droplets, and then evenly. Yeah, I mean, I had the set um, Imperial Lion War. So that was a thing. Yeah, true. Holy shit. He, he really has gone heal. Yeah. <laughs> is, a continu- is there a continuous trap you won't play? Rivalry. Yeah. And goes in. Well, because you just want to see him. And macro. Well, macro does seem counterproductive. Yes. Except, what about the world where I evenly chain droplets, vanishing the evenly That's a monster? <laughs> That's how that works. Yeah, and then you can't respond with a trap. True. Yeah. Yeah, that, that would low-key fuck me. Yeah, that would have been cool. Um, a man can dream. Instead, he had a bunch of monsters that were useless. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, on Master Duel, I'm playing Hawkist. I'm up to DLV 15 at the moment, so mm. doing relatively well. Uh, so just need to get that a little bit further, which will probably be tonight and tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's fun. 
I, I really like it. Um, threatening to have, like, if you're going second, having an Imsetti and a level 2 tuner, people, like, immediately read the room and they're like, this shit has to go. <laughs> and then you're just free to play after that. Yeah. Is Plague Spreader something great for, like, are you playing Plague Spreader? Like, get no, cheap cards um, out of your hand? No, the Vision Resonator is where I'm at because oh. you just want to, like, Vision Resonator summons itself or, like, you pitch it and search the thing and it's just free discard fodder pretty much all the time. Okay. Oh, yeah. And like a free summon as well. Like even if you've just got Nightmare um, Orchest on the board, you can special it and then you can go do your things. Okay. It does some things. The one thing I will say is that I need to remember about Gisu's um, Tuna secret ability, if you like, because then I'll be getting to Baron and Ims uh, not Imsetti. What's the other one? Dispater more often. Okay. Goddamn Dispater. Instead, they banned Baron. Yep. And in real life. Yeah, Master Bush is free. Um, <laughs> uh, so, moving on to the uh, whole lot of news that we have. So, I guess we'll start with the uh, Euro and uh, UK Nats that were last night. Um, so, I think both were doing nine rounds of Swiss, was it? Or maybe more? I mean, nine rounds has been the standard. Well, I imagine it would be the they same. They were both nine rounds of Swiss. Yes. There is a day two for both events. Yes. I believe starting in about an hour's time or something like that. Yay. Yes. At 3 a.m. So I'm looking forward to watching lots of Snake Eyes. When do we give up on the fact that we always say that this is filmed at 3 a.m.? No, um, sh sh There was a point in time where it ended at 3 a.m. every time we recorded it. Oh. Yeah, I know. Those were fucked. I'm so glad we moved into Sundays. Fuck me, Dad. Um, so we don't have figures for UK as yet, so hopefully we'll get those for next week's pod. But for German, uh, they had 2,123 players in total. <laughs> That's a lot of players. It is a lot of players, and I remember because looking at you can this... enter more than one. You can enter more than one national. Yeah, I thought I saw someone on stream that I'm like, hey, hold on. Correct. Is that maybe why they held UK and EU at the same time? It's not well, EU. It's it was, German. It's German. German. Yeah. I'm. I'm well, not that that seems EU, wrong, man. If you're in Europe, can you enter two two nationals the same year? I don't. I'm, I'm going to say no, but okay, we'll see. Because that's a lot of fucking players. It is a lot, of players. It's a lot of players. Yeah, almost too many players. But yeah, so this is not the one that that this is them trying to qualify for then WCQ because yes. it's a nationals level event. Yes, yes. But uh, like, I'd assume they all already had their invite. Imagine how fucked it is with no pastions at a nationals with two thousand players. Yeah. Like, at which if you're there because you're like desperately trying to get your invite, <laughs> really, Brag? <laughs> you just leave. <laughs> yeah, wait, because... Go Fest is on. It's top 32. I mean, if it's this time in Spain, that means the event should be starting soon. Yes. Yeah. Remember, it's 6 o'clock in Paris. Mm, nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, um, and a preliminary breakdown of the uh, 2,100 or so players, we've got 213 Snake Eyes. Yep. Uh, 132 Voiceless. Yep. 87 Labyrinth. Yep. 75 Runic. Yep. 61 uh, equal parts Kashira and Melodius. That's not very many Snake Eyes for that many players. No, that's what I thought. Um, and then there's 1,494 yeah, 1, other. So seemingly if it was 60 decks or less, it just got put into a subcategory. Which is a lot of numbers. <laughs> that's a, there's a diverse number of decks in a, in a room. That's crazy. Yeah, maybe people are just sick of playing Snake Eyes. They're just like, Sunday fun day. Well, it could be a lot of people that, yeah, just want to go there and play a deck that they haven't been playing for the last three months. They've already got their invite, so they didn't give a fuck. So they just brought in, like, I don't know, Melodious Horus or some bullshit. Yeah, well, I, I did notice on the stream for UK, they were literally just picking garbage matches to be like, it's two decks you haven't seen yet. <laughs> they put on a 3-3 three, three match. Like, these guys can't make anything. You, you've put Cash Tira versus fucking Ancient Gear on. And you better um, believe the Cash Tira player just went shift to shift up. Shocking. Um, they tried to put um, Crystal Beasts on round two, but that's when the stream shit itself. Ah. It, it oh, didn't shit Mists. itself. It never started. It started for round one. Wait. for round one. Wait, so do, how many oh, cards... Oh, so Twitch worked for round one? Yeah. Okay. Because How many cards of Crystal it... Beast do we see? Sorry. None. 
Zero. They went to put it on stream and they had technical difficulties, so they had to go to their pre-recorded coverage. The technical difficulties were probably the fact that they had not hit play on YouTube. (laughs) Because I was sitting in the YouTube lobby waiting, and it was like 45 minutes after it was due to start, I was like, I'm going to check Twitch. It was was working on Twitch. Using the wrong stream key. Yep. Um, yeah, so from what I could see, yeah, like you said, they were trying in the UK to put on anything but Snake Eyes for as long as they could. Uh, Germans did not have that problem. They were happy to show uh, Snake Eyes demolishing whatever decks that it came up against. I can't remember what um, deck it was versing when I was watching it, but I was like, this is this is painful. <laughs> this poor bastard. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, but we start with some news. There we go. News time. So, uh, a bunch of cards got announced from Rage of the Abyss. Uh, so we're going to do just go over them quickly. Quickly? Well, I'm going to want to chat about some of these cards. Yeah, yeah, some of them we can. Some of them we can. <laughs> well, uh, do you want to chat about Primordial at all? Uh, yes. We're not, let's not call that. It's called Raw Rock. I hope to God, uh, raw, raw. I want them to call Woo. it raw. Oh, I can't even say <laughs> raw rock. Yeah, no, but I'm trying to make a distinction between raw rock and raw rock. Raw walk and raw walk. <laughs> <laughs> New when? food archetype. Yay! <laughs> When's raw walk? <laughs> uh, anyway, so then at this have, stage, like, ghost patrons because the food's raw, they die. It's great. It's a great ghost chef archetype. I thought it was like a walk that roars at you. Um, they're more, yeah. I guess, fiend chefs. So maybe you can have the fiend chefs versing the when are we ghost getting, chefs. When are we getting ghosts? As a, is that illusions? No. I feel like that's illusions. Well, they should do like ghosts in the illusion archetype, right? Yeah. Well, whatever you call it. Retrains of ghost tricks that are ghosts. Yes. You heard me, Jerome. Or just make Boy, like you. an illusion ghost trick. Yeah. Aren't they all just the oh. same effect? <laughs> I'll make it an extender, I don't fucking know. Anyway, um, so the idea of this deck is that it kind of revolves around normal monsters because it only currently oh. has one main deck monster. Oh, well, this is like War Rock. So, <laughs> since they they're are... They're not normal monsters, they're just bad. Since they are based off ores, um, the the Luster Dragons, your... What's the other one that also... The Ruby... Luster Carbonite, yeah. Well, yeah, now you've got the Ruby Dragon, then you've got the Carbonite Dragon, that level oh, 6 Oh, the tuner. Labradorite. Yeah, Labradorite, yeah. Like, so, in theory, this is meant to, you know, they're all rock dragons. Um, but yeah, a lot of the spells and traps seem to revolve around the types of normal monsters you have in your grave or on your field to yeah. give it benefit. Um, I haven't looked into it too much, but it seems weird. It, it has some things it can do, like if you can find a normal archetype to mix it in with, like immediately my mind goes to Magic Key, because they're sort of similar that they like normal stuff. Yeah. Does, um, does it have any way of sending cards to Grave? Uh, yeah, I think a bunch of their stuff will like ask you to reveal a normal monster and send it and summon and blah 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 blah. Okay, because okay. I was like, if they have like a brand infusion, that would not be that bad. Like a brand infusion of just two normal <laughs> is that, monsters. Is that the two levels of support that we've like gotten to yeah. the, the deck either needs to have a branded fusion or it needs to have a poplar those are the two things it needs to have to be yeah. relevant <laughs> yes like it's it's a fantastic way to get a deck started just be like send two material from the deck off you go so uh, two normal monsters well they definitely send from deck oh, oh they send from deck the, the one of the spells does oh good that's much better yeah, so there's definitely stuff it can do. Um, I just haven't looked into exactly what that is. Uh, next, I'm sure Ben will be very excited for this. 6M! Yes. Getting a bunch of support. Um, so they're getting two new main deck monsters. I think one's a tuner and the other one's not. No, they're both tuners. Yes. Uh, and one's a level three, yep. one's a level two. Yep. Yes. Um, they both free summon. Which is good because we have too many non-tuners. And one searches a quick place spell, yep, and the other one great. Um, just as a six strike card. I don't even know what. Six I think that's also are. the quick place spell. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the quick. Yeah, <laughs> they're just telling you search the quick place. Well, yeah, the quick place spell's busted. <laughs> yeah, it's um, fantastic. It, like the the synchros are fine. Like they're they're hitting all the hero there. I like Anishi getting one because that means we might see a promotion for most of them, which I kind of mm. I like them repeating the same ones we do because having this many samurais in six samurais 
is a bit weird, but at the same time, I think we're still going okay. In fairness, I think law-wise, the previous six have died or retired yeah. for the new six yeah. to come in. It's just because the you secret get... Secret six samurai. Yeah, like there's different... Yeah. And legendary six samurai. Yeah. yeah. And now there's evil six samurai. Yeah. Evil! Oh, yeah, evil! <laughs> <laughs> so what are these? These are the legendary clasher. What did you just call me? <laughs> Uh, so what's Keep scrolling. <laughs> uh, so six strike double. It's a assault. reborn. That's all that matters. Yes, yes, it is. Reborns. Oh, if you control two six M's, you can do both. The other effects like Book of Moon or some shit. It doesn't matter. You're reboarding, Jake. You're reboarding. Yeah. I was like, why do you need to summon from hand when all of these normally just summon from hand? Yeah. If I'm playing a samurai that doesn't summon from hand, I won't. Like, I'm playing. To get wrong. it out of my it, deck. It is fantastic. It fixes this. I am looking at this from the perspective of FTK. Um, so <laughs> quick just like this it Shocker. fixes the issues that have arisen from there's so many things that these this support fixes. Um, it fixes the assault day problem of no longer having a soul day to get the extra body out when you're doing the combo. Um, now you can just go straight healing two, search your gateway, uh, as long as you then have like the other two more extenders to keep going. Realistically now like one monster through three monsters is now FTK. And I don't think the matter the names matter all too much. I think they just need to be three monsters and you're off to the races. Um, then you have the flip side of like the spell fixes the fact that your one reborn require you to banish two from graves. So now you also have access to that and you have access to this as a reborn ability. Like overall, really good support. Really good support. Through the lens of an FTK player. Oh, even if you're not, you can set up the negates and shit. The only problem is, and it's the problem that Six Samurai will just kind of have is that you don't have a lot of space for hand traps in the deck because if you're playing space for hand traps they're not extenders to blow your opponent out we're warrior hand traps that also extend yeah we're um, jelly hand warrior yeah true this deck's gonna lose hard to jelly hand trap you by the way oh yeah well yeah. you say lose but like it implies that your opponent's gonna draw more stuff jelly hand trappy they all summon from hand like, it's very rare that you're going to be like, I summon this from the deck. No, you're adding it, and then you're summoning it. Um, but yeah, really really excited. Really excited for this, this round of support. Really excited. Really excited. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next, so cards you can cut. we go to the anime, and Bandit Keith slash Joey Wheeler get some Metal Morph support. Get Metal mm. Zoa! Um, so I the Red Eyes well. is a negate. Uh, and the Zoa, I don't actually know what the Zoa does. Uh, just spell just, carter it's effect. It's battle stuff. Um, oh, uh, up to twice per turn, spell carter effect, destroy a card. Yeah. Oh, hang on, that's not the Zoa, is it? Yeah, that's Zoa. Yeah, that's that's, that's, oh, that's Naked Zoa. Oh, that, Metal Zoa X, and then Zoa. that's the Demon Lord Zoa. Yeah, and then this one. Um, oh, so this is just a extender thingy, sure. Uh, and then you've got the metal copy cat, which yeah. is sort of the starter for the deck. You need it to search the metal morph card and then change its thing to make it the thing you need to tribute. Yeah, but it only, it, only t it only turns into a dragon off turn, yeah? Yes. I don't like the fact that... Oh no, declare one monster type, this card becomes that type until the end of your opponent's turn. Like, the, this, this oh, stuff I is... must have been reading a busted <laughs> translation previous then. This stuff all runs in that, that issue of... It, revol it relies on a trap for the entire deck to work. So therefore, 0 out of 10. Yeah. Look, it's cute, but like, the second it was anime related, you knew it wasn't going to be amazing. The Red Eyes monster, does it require you to have used Metal Morph to summon it? Or to uh, get the negate? The new Metal Morph. Well, Might it can't be just... normal summoned or set or special summoned Fuck. except for the um So you can't even card. like use it in Red Eyes decks? No. That sucks. Um, so yeah, the trap is like tribute, um, one of the types that it needs to summon the correct one from the deck. It's like yeah. a dragon or a fiend. Yeah. Currently. There may be more. Hopefully not. Please don't. Uh, even more. Uh, and then there's a new time machine as well. Well, yeah, because time machines... Time uh, Which I found machine. out, I found out with this release that time machine's also a metal morph card. Well, yes. The, yeah. Uh, so if a monster is destroyed, blah, 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 bring it back. Um, and then it does... Isn't that uh, how he beats... Yeah, 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 so, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, Red Eyes comes back in the time machine. No, is it no, no, Red Eyes? No, no he doesn't nuke, then he brings them back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, And time then magic. this one also has... Um, Give the claws. Yeah, it blows up stuff um, on the reborn of the monster, depending on what other shit you have going on. Yeah. Um, 
yeah, not amazing support. It's cute, but like, like having having one of them activate it from deck would have been appreciated instead of having to rely on that extra turn. But yeah. it is okay. Let's click the X's so that Ben's happy. Um, <laughs> yeah, this this card sucks. This guy, yeah. There's a few in here that suck. Um, so this one's like destroy a water monster to summon it to the same zone, um, and then you can destroy opponent's monsters in the same column. Uh, it's not that bad, but it's bad. It's not great. Would have been great ten years ago. No, fifteen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like if your Neftus Neftibus gets impermed. Sure, but yeah. I don't think it's a quick effect. No, no, no I'm not. just saying you can pop it. Even then, like you, I don't think most of the time you cared too much if your Neptibus got impermed because it sent the Dragoon as cost. <laughs> True. You didn't give a fuck. Does this trigger those cards? If they're destroyed, yes. Okay. Good. Good. So yeah, um, the one interaction I came up with is if you summon the Bad Unchained, which is a water type, you can pop it to summon this, and then it'll trigger the Unchained to summon from deck. Oh. Right. Wait, is that a fiend? Uh, no, it's a level 2 water aqua. Oh, you see? <laughs> he's seeing water aqua. That's pretty good. I didn't think that part through. I kind of like it. <laughs> no. I'm, I've turned around. <laughs> I like I like. If only design. they weren't going to ban Hurdly Awesome. Yeah. Surely not. Why? Because fucking you make it off one card now. Like normal summon swap prog makes makes it again, so they're just gonna fucking be. Out. I can't have nice things. <laughs> uh, next. So looking at this from an FTK perspective. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so looking at this from an FTK perspective, you do get to set up Toad on one summon. Uh, next bad support uh, is the Dream Absorber. That's uh, a level two Water Fairy. Uh, if your opponent activates a monster effect in the hand or graveyard or banishment, uh, especially some of this card from your graveyard, if it was there when this effect was activated or handy, but if not, but destroy it during the end phase. Each time your opponent activates a monster effect, it gains a thousand attack immediately after it resolves. But destroy it during the end phase. The end phase. Fuck. Yeah, it's not... Doesn't even stay around until next turn. No. <laughs> Artwork is really cool. Card effects. Eh. Yeah. I agree, the artwork is cool. Yeah, it's got like a Deus Ex Machina kind of vibe. Kind of looks like Galatea, to be honest. Um, then we get what seems to be like an extender for the Light and Darkness Dragon thing. Yeah, I think the idea that is that you're meant to yeah. like make it after your um, fusion is out of negates. When I started reading it, I was like, Super Poly Target? And then I kept reading it, it was like, no. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, needs a Light or Dark Dragon and then another Dragon. Uh, if this card's fusion summon, target cards your opponent controls up to the number of your light and dark monsters used as material and destroy them. Ah, your. I mean, you can still make yes, it, it just it doesn't is, do yeah. much for you. Yeah, um, you can still slope up a board, but you ain't gonna do much after that. And then if this card becomes banished, target a level 4 light or dark dragon monster you control, its level becomes 8. So if you banish this off like one of the um, little baby chaos dragons, make it a big one. Sure. Why? Right. No idea. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think the idea of it, again, artwork is cool. Kind of looks like a. The idea of it's great. Levy they just future proofed it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it Damn does it. look like a reverse levy now. Yeah. And then next. Come on. Ah, oh, we have a new union card. Oh, yeah. Union the pilot. The one union card that's needed is banned. <laughs> Uh, so either equip it what? to an effect monster you control or unequip it in a special summon it. Um, if the equip monster will be destroyed by battle or card effect, destroy it instead. Mm. Uh, return the equipped card to, return this equipped card to the hand. Equip one banished union monster to an appropriate monster you control as if it were equipped by that union monster's effect. And if you do special summon this card from your hand. Okay. Does it equip itself from hand or does it have to be on field? Uh... Doesn't specify. No, no, it'll be field. It'll, it'll be on it field then. Fire. Oh, no, field, God. Right, so right. how you... Well, whatever. Well, you use yeah. the field spell. Yeah. But, uh, still. It's the same as Union Carrier. No, no. What's the current Union one? Union Driver. Yeah. yeah. But Union Driver's better. Hmm. Well, this is alright. Because you mm. equip Union Driver from deck. You can do it with this too. Mm. Yeah, but then Union you Driver the replaces thing. itself, and then you can summon the card. And... It's okay. It'll all work out. It's... Great. If a light level 5 machine monster can't special summon from a hand, 
I don't want any part of it. It does touch a summer from the hand. It literally says that. No, uh, itself. Yeah. After being on the field. I just asked you if it special summons itself from hand. It only special summons itself from hand after it bounces itself back for its union effect, right? Yes. So yeah. return this equip card yeah. to the hand. Yeah, so it doesn't special... Yes. Yeah, so it has to be on the field already. We, you we, put it there... We're talking too long about this card. It's a brick. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fine. I'm never going to play it, but it's fine. Uh, we have a new Morganite. Yeah. I also, its effects is really good. The effect uh, where it adds Morganite. <laughs> yeah, the one you want. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, um, same sort of thing, can't activate monster effects from the hand, uh, each monster, um, can, wait, each of your monsters can make up to two attacks on monsters during each battle phase, uh, if your monster battles an opponent's monster, damage is doubled. Uh, banish this card from your graveyard, add a Morganite card from your deck to your hand, then place one card from your hand to the bottom of your deck. Is it one effect only per turn? Like, as in, you can um, use the on-field effect and grave effect? No, you can do both. Oh, that's great. That's fine. That's it's fine. similar to the other Morganite. That was the job. That was the job. I saw him. What's the highest rarity Morganite? Super. Only got super. Okay, yeah, because I saw I saw one displayed in a singles uh, in a singles cabinet. I'm like, oh, this might be a good pickup. I'm like, oh, it's only super. Why is this being displayed? Because it's expensive. How yeah. much was it in, uh, that single, in that singles cabinet? How much? Was uh, it? There's no price tag. Oh, damn. We don't care about. You're not going to do that much. Research. No, 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 no. I was just double checking. Are we talking like twenty bucks expensive? Are we talking like sixty bucks expensive? Twenty bucks. Yeah. Oh, that's not. But there's not many on market. Yeah. No. Because all the fucking scum players have hoarded them. Or maybe I've got I... somewhere to be tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Up the mountain to get Morganite. Really the great land of Mossvale. Yeah. And then we have the announcements of the archetypes from Crossover Breakers. Um, well, at least the hints. Did we even know the name of this set till t- yes, we t- did. yesterday? Yes, Marco. Because every time I thought about it, I kept thinking of Crossover Crisis. Ah, yes. Crossover Breakers? Tell yeah. me more. Kind of doesn't make any sense. So, the first archetype we get hinted at is Raziel. Uh, Exige monsters. Is it next deck building back, sorry? Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, Exige monsters that unleash energy made of shining light, burning flames, and booming thunder. Oh. <gasps> so, the first, or it seems that they usually announce the boss monster of each of the decks as like their like, highlight one, generally speaking. Um, so, that it seems that I feel like boss Vanquish Soul is different, though. No, they went with the dragon. Oh, I thought it was the dude. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, so the boss monster is seemingly the Rise Old Deadener. So I feel like we probably won't have it called that. Just a guess. It's the Lethaler. <laughs> the Unalivada. <laughs> you can't say that on YouTube, Jake. We've just been demonetized. No, Normalized Japanese you names. You can't say the other one. No, no, they've coded it now so that the next word that you say now is yeah, demonetized. Normalized oh. Japanese yep. names. Yeah, yeah. So what's the next one we have to go down to? I don't know. The Mortal Coil Shuffler? Yeah, sure. They've... they've <laughs> yeah, they pivot. Sure. They have, anyway, that's a whole other argument. Because their argument is they don't want you talking about it full stop, not changing the fucking names. So that is add more names to the algorithm. Anyway, Welcome next archetype algorithm. is called Malice. Uh, so this one uh, uniquely has a different characterish kind of thing in its name, kind of like Trickstars have... No, not Trickstar. Live Twin have a little star in their name. This one has an upside down A in a lower or a smaller font. Zeus support? Hmm. No. That, that has A's. It does, but Two they're not upside down. Ah, that's fine. Uh, so Malice uh, sees control of the mysterious digital universe using all sorts of... Codes. Oh, no! <laughs> it's going to be Cyverse. It is going to be Cyverse, and it's seemingly based around Alice in Wonderland. Because uh, their boss monster is Shh. Malice Q. We're gonna get sued. Alice in Wonderland is out, like, it's in public domain. Yes. Hmm. It's been public Just domain like for fucking years. Star Wars and the Wizard of Oz. Well, Wizard of Oz is. Just like Star Wars. I mean, that should be in the public domain. They need to fucking sort that out. <laughs> Jake, oh, just, Jake just professed he's a bigot. <laughs> what? Wait, didn't you hate it? You I loved here. it. Well, I didn't love it. <laughs> <laughs> See? Have you seen The Power of One? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so their boss monster is... He gets is... pissed. It's so cringe. <laughs> their it's boss... not that it's shit, it's, it's just that it's cringe. Yeah. It is very much cringe. So, uh, their boss monster is called Malice Q, Hearts of Crypta. Queen of Hearts. That's what about, when are we going to I like get... that. Hmm? The, I don't know. I'm actually say? really keen for this. Yeah. Hopefully they're good. Hopefully. I mean, the fact that they've they're, they're made a whammon 
Oh, yeah. It's Cybers and it's Whammon. I feel like there's a winning combination in there somewhere. Nah, they, oh, they'll be like, there's too many broken shit. salad support cards. We can't make these cards good. Just don't make them fire. Okay, sure. Make, what's don't it? make them fire. <laughs> I feel like they'll end up being dark and light. I feel like it'll be a chaos archetype. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. Wow, Jake's really going out for broke here. Or fire and They're going to make yeah. dark monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, look, they haven't made a seventh attribute. No, sorry. Eighth attribute. Yeah. This eighth attribute. Spell cards. True. They have a different symbol in the top corner. They do. Yeah. I kind of wish, wish they played more into that, but... Yeah. Spells are an attribute. Traps aren't. And then finally... Uh, no, I'm just doing that at him. You can keep That's going. Fine. Finally, we Where have Ryuka this? or Langhua. Uh, high level. These are going to be great. I hope so. Uh, a high level theme based around ascending to become dragons and centered around three dragons vying for supremacy. They're going to miss so much timing. <laughs> <laughs> you reckon it's going to be Yangzing, even though they're worms? Yeah, worms. they're going to be dragons. Oh, so there'll, be, so there'll be mini worms trying to get become dragons. Yeah, potentially, yeah. The Yangzing's trying to ascend to be dragons. Or fish. True. Gyarados teams, isn't it? Well. That's the legend. They're just going to miss timing. Sure. Surely they don't time. make archetypes in wow. 2024, <laughs> verging on 2025. They've missed timing. Like, intentionally badly missed timing. Not like a when hand trigger. We'll, we'll find out. Arata Dupe Frog. So this one is called Genesis Longhua Guamba. I'm impressed, Jake. It's a weird looking thing though. One, six, one sixteenth of you would be proud. <laughs> Don't know what sixteenth it will be, but here we are. Yeah. The artwork of this one's really cool. I don't know what's going on with it. it I feel like it has at least one too many legs. Um, <laughs> that's what you think. <laughs> <laughs> Some uh, would say it's got a perfect amount of legs. <laughs> um, I don't know when this is getting released in the TCG. Um, but I'm kind of looking forward to it. At uh, least based on the artwork alone, it seems relatively interesting. We're getting in October. Oh, okay. I made that part up. Yeah. Even if it's around that time, September, October, November. No, isn't the, it's, it's, all, it's, the, it's the August deck build pack, and that's usually we get October, November. Yeah, okay. I can deal with that. Because that'll be once, like, we start getting competitive again, I feel. Yeah. We'll see. I'll just... Uh, Animation Chronicles has given us a new garbage card. Uh, this it's one an Earthbound is Earthbound Immortal. That's all you need to read. <laughs> Earthbound God Scar Red Nova. Yep. Uh, so basically, it either cheats out an Earthbound from your deck or extra deck, or it cheats out a Red Nova Dragon specifically. <sighs> yep. You already read too much of it. Yeah. It said Earthbound Immortal. It's not the one that matters. Yeah, something in Earthbound Immortal from deck will be cool. The Red Nova. Ugh. Not so much. Um, so yeah, we touched on the WCQs being there. Again, it's free gems. Uh, you have, I think it's like a little over a week uh, before the Stage 2 starts to get up to DLV Max. Um, so it's definitely worth jumping in if you just want to get some packs and stuff. I'll do it. Yeah, good boy. Uh, and then we have the announcement for the announcement of the oh, WCQ yeah. ban list. Yes, so after we finish recording the podcast next week, the ban list will be announced shortly after. Yes. Um, it, it always gets announced like... Oh yeah, it's Japanese three hours. time. So when does that... That's Two hours in. after us. So we 11. Yeah, 11 o'clock. Yeah, no. 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 We're not doing the podcast that time. I have... I mean, I edit. definitely won't. I'll be coming back from Barrel, so I won't even be at Locals. Barrel? Barrel. Oh, you can go to the, the other card shop. Mm. The cool guy's card shop. No, mm. I won't be doing that. I'll be busy all day. If anyone from Southern Busy Highlands, Craig went to your local scene the other day and said it was really cool. So, good on you. And then, the Battles of Legend, Terminal Revenge. Uh, so, obviously, this has been announced for a little bit, but we have the full set spoilers here. I've yeah. seen so many fucking fake spoilers for this. Well, yeah, this one... One of them got me hyped because I thought Fenrir was going to be in here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was a very early one, and that just, like... Seem to hit heaps of markers of cards. Everyone's like, <gasps> like, but that leak came out like about an hour before we got the released videos, yeah. mm -hmm. so it was believable. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, no. 
No Fenrir. And uh, thus, so, I will continue to not have Fenrir. <laughs> so, obviously, we're getting reprints of all the four terminal um, support decks. I don't think they've missed out any key cards in any of the archetypes. I feel like you've got majority of what you'd actually want to play, which is good, because it sucks. All the like... Inferno cards are in there, right? It look like. Yeah. Uh, I don't think Feast was, but we got a recent oh, reprint of Feast. So yeah, you got an matter. ultra reprint, like... A year ago. Yeah, yeah, so we're good on that. Um, so we have a bunch of them obviously getting quarter century rares. Um, New Void Imagination. Yep. Um, the Dragon Ruler. Yeah, we got a few of the imports and stuff as well. Um, we got the Xyz for um, print. No, what is it? Dragon Rulers. When are we going to get Dual Links Dragon just say reprinted? That? I don't know. I wasn't listening. Um, I said, yeah, we got the, the Xyz Dragon Ruler. Yeah. Uh, importantly, we got Phantom of Ubel. So Fiend Players Rejoice. Best card in the set. The set's pretty shit. It's not amazing. We've got it? every Sky Striker card, but the one that I can swear that Azalea has been has been out sooner than the one we're missing. Camellia? Maybe we got Camellia and you've just not realised. Uh, reprint of Substitute and End of Anubis. Yeah, End of Anubis is cute. Even mm. though didn't it already have one? Substitute has for some reason been bought out like anywhere listing pre orders. Interesting. Yeah. Even though it's getting reprinted again, like, next week. It's in the Blood of Destruction, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So it's getting reprinted. Sure. But who's buying again. Light of Destruction? It's a good question. Well, vendors won't be buying Light of Destruction, right? Surely not. No oh, one wants... shitty set. Do you reckon... It's, yeah. it's going to be modern print standards, and that's going to make the set fucking garbage. Yeah. Are you tempted to get a lot of destruction stuff? There's heaps of the old fairies and shit that you like. Maybe. We'll see. Um, yeah. Uh, what was the other one? Half I saw? Horror. Uh, Decatron getting a QCR. Half Horror getting a QCR. That's annoying. Uh, Diviner getting a Ultra and QCR, which is great. Opinions uh, on the Blue Eyes card being exclusively yeah, Forty Razzy. I was getting to that. That's right down the bottom here. So there's a couple of cards that seem to only be in quarter century rare. So you've obviously got Dragon Master Magia, as well as the uh, Ace and Ray Alt Arts only being in QCR. That's okay. Which we already have them, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, less impactful, but <clears> for like the collectors that are like, give me all the Whammon cards, they'll be very upset about this. Ah, yeah. oh, it's fine. Those people will spend a lot of money on that. Look, they they chose their but they chose their mission. Like they chose their hill. They were going to die on. Yeah, if you're I going to was Konami it. going, you mean if I just re keep reprinting shit in high value, you're just going to buy it? But like, what are the deviant artists going to do if they spend all their money on QCRs? Go back to listing their art for free on the internet. I suppose. I mean, that's what they have to do. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's not an amazing set. Like, it's got some key reprints for stuff, but, like, I feel they could have put some more chase stuff in here. It's, it's a good. neat set, but I probably only want about 25 bucks worth of cards out of it, so I'm staying well fucking clear of this. I might end up trying to get together the uh, Ritual Beast core. Um, yep. Like, I'm, I'm sure I have most of it already, except for the new stuff, obviously. I just don't that's going to be all over the place in terms of rarity and condition. I don't want to have to think enough to play that deck. There is a lot of thinking to do. But also, there's a lot less thinking in comparison to when someone drops Shifter on me in this deck, as opposed to every other deck I own. Okay, drop. That's the thought process I'm on at the moment. <laughs> I'm sick of getting Shifted. It's fine, you just go past and then you imperm them and then they pass back to you. I know, but the decks I have don't have hand traps. There's your problem. <laughs> Maybe that's the issue. Well, there's lots of issues. I'm not debating that there's issues. I'm just trying to play around these issues as best I can. Yes. But we move on to questions. If you weren't aware, link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us those questions. Uh, the reason I've jumped in with my phone because I'll remember the order better. Oh, well, that's fine. Ah, so our first question this week comes to us from... Co uh, Crobat 5, rather. Crobat V? Yeah, sure. I will continue um, to make that joke every, every time. Good, yes. Uh, who would you rather as head of Konami? <laughs> Kaiba? Pegasus? Chancellor Shepard? Or Rex Goodwin? I would never replace Jerome. Jerome's doing a fantastic job. You keep it up, Jerome. Good work. Maybe Pegasus. 
Yeah, as long as I'm, like... Why vote I'm, him out? Are we going... Are we assuming it's uh, pre or post I'm not getting my wife back, Pegasus? Well, does he have two eyes? Or one? Hmm. Does he have to dig one every time eyed. we go get support? Well, no, he just started drawing them after that. He didn't have to yeah. dig. He oh. digs on the odd occasion. He's just a. You're telling me this whole card game's made up? I know, shocking. That's why in the 21st century, it's just stuff full of woman cards. <laughs> Who are also made up. Pe eventually, Pegasus got horny and lonely, and he was like, <laughs> Well, yeah, his wife's dead. Own wife is dead. <laughs> <laughs> How the heart, his wife is dead. Oh, well. Because with Kaiba, you've got. You've got to deal with dragon support, which is kind of where we're at anyway. Sorry, he had to draw massive tits on them because he's only got one eye and his death perception's off. <laughs> and then when he handed them to the English people, they were like, oh, it's a bit much. <laughs> uh, uh, so anyway. Um, Rex is a maniac. I don't even know who Rex is. Who's, who the fuck um, is Rex? Fucking, uh, the head of 5Ds. The oh, body, that's Way to act yourself not watching 5Ds. I'm, I will admit that freely. The only time oh. I've watched it was here. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Going fast makes you feel alive, Jake. Uh, I want to die. Well, that... I remember when that was a one episode when they said that instead. <laughs> <laughs> Going fast makes me want to die. That was, that was me watching the Body Psychic versus Lunar episode. I think I've witnessed about that enough. Um, when Regulus. And the last one was Chancellor Shepard, who is terrible. Yeah, I don't know if it's just the dub that makes him seem like an absolute fuckhead. No, Not even like a malicious fuckhead. Like, he just seems like a dopey he's fuck. incompetent. Yeah. Man loves his NDAs. <laughs> just can't trust that. No. Uh, Next thing yeah. you know, he's pooping on his friends. We can go with Pegasus. <laughs> yeah, look. <laughs> we'll stick with Pegasus. Uh, next question, uh, from Will Shift to you? Yes. Uh, if you could bring back anyone from the dead, who would it be and why? You can Edgar Allan Poe, so can bring I can hear him wife to, uh, you know, get less waifu cards. Yeah, true. Unless he just makes a whole archetype about her. Yeah. What's Cecilia. her name? Cecilia. That's it. I knew it was some fucking stupid-ass Victorian name. You say you're bringing back Edgar Allan Poe? Yeah. Why haven't we gotten any Edgar Allan Poe archetypes? I'm fairly sure he's the entire inspiration for the base set of the game. Huh? Oh, I don't fucking know. I was going to say, that feels like a... Yada Garasu is definitely from him. Oh, yeah, true. Oh, one... Ooh. I'm going to look into the spirit monsters later in case that is a thing. Yeah. Did he draw some weird looking... Oh, I'm not going to say Rabbit that. on a rocket? Was yeah, let's go with that. Rocks that didn't let him <laughs> <laughs> you looked like you needed something. <laughs> That dragon <laughs> is oh, a weird yeah, looking dragon. dragon. Yeah. I feel like a lot of them are based on um, Hindu mythology. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Azura makes sense. Yeah, Azura Priest, an Inama White Rabbit. Yeah. I feel like a few of them are Hindu. At least the early stuff was vaguely Hindu. What's Dark Dust like. Spirit? Or maybe just like mythology in general or spirits yeah. in general, because that's more a. Um, like South America. Oh, yeah, it's not in thing. that one. He's gone. Yep. I have a thousand miles stared there. <laughs> uh, who else would we bring back from the dead? Yeah, I don't know. It seems like it just asks for too much trouble. Like bringing people back in the dead in all these shows has caused heaps of trouble. Actually, yeah. I kind of want Diana to come back just to see what the fuck that's going to do to the royal family post Elizabeth. She'll show back up and be like, huh. She can only come back as a jewel spirit, though. Who has to accompany you? Which of her two sons do you think she would follow? Or do you think she'd just haunt the fuck out of Charles? Yeah, 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 that one. That one. That one. Scare Camilla down the stairs of Buckingham. That's why they don't go to France. I don't I think... think... I don't think she ever left France. What? No, I'm saying... <laughs> no mother in yeah, their no, That's what I'm saying. That's why the royal family doesn't go to France. Well, she haunts the fuck out of them when they go. And that because it's France. Yeah, they were friends for a little bit of time. Were they? Yeah, during the war. Yeah, when France, you know, stopped being owned by France. 
<laughs> Sorry, French people. I don't respect you. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> I feel like you were going to say namaste. <laughs> That's French. <laughs> namaste out of the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we have so many questions that we're already so far off the rails. Yep. Um, next <laughs> next question comes to us from, again, Crowbat5. Uh, which of you three would eat more food at a restaurant and cafe? Uh, it's it's going to be close between me and Bragg. You reckon? Yeah. We order out a lot. Yeah. I can oh, hang on. Lot. Could eat. Yeah, no, okay. So it's saying, like, when you go out, who eats like a slob, effectively. Oh, is that, I like, thought it was eats the most. I thought it was just an well, eating yeah, contest. Could eat, yeah, well, that's what it is. And yeah. I don't think eating more food makes you seem more robust and gentlemanly. <laughs> what? I thought this was an eating contest. Yeah, that's effectively what it's saying. I'm yes. saying that me and so Bragg would whoop your ass in an eating contest. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. I don't Why stay, are you trying to change the subject? I don't stay this shape <laughs> by eating a lot. No, you just don't eat your vegetables. Yeah, that too. Look, the actual stomach organ that I have is quite small. It's just I retain the, the energy too much. He's a low GI man. Yeah, I just... It, and it's kind of makes I me sad. so much fucking food. Yeah. In the right conditions, I can eat a lot, but even then, it's not as much as him. Like, at, all you, at the all-you-can-eat places, usually I'm one of the early ones to tap out. Like, I eat a lot and I eat it quickly. My problem is I get bored. I get bored of eating food sometimes. You eat faster than Eat at Ben's speed. Ben, anyway, ben, ben, ben you need the, you know, the veggies to help digest it. Yeah. Maybe that's why you don't eat much. Because your stomach's so small. Because it's like, we have to stay small, otherwise the veggies don't have space. <laughs> uh, next question so is Ben's again. winning that one, for the record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, next question from Crowbat5. With some new Blue Eyes support coming out in the future, do you think that Konami would ever print some support for Flame Swordsmen, like giving them an Xyz or a Link Monster? Didn't they, they just do that, like, six got, months ago? Yes. Yeah, they did. They got all that stuff. You should look into it. It's not good. It's garbage. But it's there. They have a Link Monster. They got more fusions. They're shit. They technically have two Links, don't they? Yeah, well, they got one years ago. Like, four years ago? Yeah, like, it's not good, but now they have his old, like, that's all you got. <laughs> but what was the real question? What was the start of the question, the part that we answer before we mock this man? Do you think that they would get support? Oh. More? They no. Oh, you know, maybe, actually, because the OCG hasn't got it yet, right? Cool now yeah, with Yeah, it was TCG. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, so being a TCG exclusive, there is potential that uh, OCG will fix it. And uh, off the top of my head, they didn't do the blue flame swordsman stuff again. So they can, I mean... There's other colours, so we can go that way. I like how they just released... Another five years, we'll probably... They only released Blue Flame Swords, and be like, see, here's the main deck one. Yeah. Next question. Next question from Tuesday's Noob. Which is the second best deck of this format, ignoring uh, the different Tempires variants? Uh, first Lodius? is pretty obvious, but oh. there are a bunch that could claim second based on tops and wins and power them. It depends. Yeah, that's, Depends on I was thinking about this the other day. <laughs> this, this is the thing I was thinking about the other day. Like, if you... It's kind of like F1. Like, F1 at the moment, you pretty much have to ignore Max Verstappen and you're looking from second place down because he's just, like... If he gets in front, he's way in front. Just a brief reference. It's kind of like that in Yu-Gi-Oh! at the moment. crash into him? Because that's and uh, designated crash and expensive. Ah, oh, it's the fine. The cars cost many millions sure of dollars. I'm sure losing is also I mean, expensive. I mean, why if do, you look why at... Why don't we just tear up every flame burge? We I mean, tried that, remember? <laughs> yeah, we tried that with Josh, and then someone fucking broke the streak and gave him a yeah, fucking Mega Luke. card. Not that that matters, he never played it. Um, yeah, true. We, we, we were like, don't give him the commons. He got them. Uh, Fire it. King Snake Eyes, second best deck. <laughs> he said ignoring the fucking variants. Oh. Listen to the question. No, really. Anyway, um, the point I was getting at, at the is moment, that... Tempo. You, mm, because everyone's playing lab, and the lab guys are countering Snake Eyes, so therefore Tempi better. I don't know. Like, I get that Tempai is very good, and if you give them, like, a window, they can win. But I've never felt it that badly in my very few, admittedly, 
matchups against it. If you took Sneak Eyes out of the meta, Tempai is the best deck. Because Tempai then just plays Board Breakers. Mm. And they fucking wreck those other decks. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's yeah. simple. I don't know. But yeah, if you ignore Snake Eyes as a deck in the format right now, the deck like diversity would actually be great. Scrap Snake Eyes. Stop saying Snake Eyes variants. I find it really funny though that before we had Snake Eyes, people were complaining that the meta was too diverse and you couldn't pre-plan pre for any deck. It was and very wild. I don't think it's the same play. people. I think we just have like 50% of the player base like, is one way, 50 is the other way, the, and they just both arc up. The YouTubers yeah, that, and pro player base were like, it's too diverse. When you go to a major event, you can't prepare for your matchups properly. You can't side properly. Your side deck's got to be too wide. And now it's just Snake Eyes and people are like, but it's not. It's terrible. It's not diverse at all. Well, the top diversity. tables are, but as we saw in the German results, there's only still 200 Snake Eyes players in a room. There's probably going to be 20% of them in Top Gun. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, next question is from 6 out 6 uh, Why do you chase certain cards? Is it about a rarity bump? Is it because it looks cool? A meta staple? A preempt a incoming meta? Uh, useful in your current deck or for nostalgia? All of the above. Although I find normally now I don't really chase cards. I haven't chased, chased a, like, card in a very long time. Like, I'll casually look for stuff. Like, yeah. Edison's the prime example. Like, I was, like, browsing eBay and it was too difficult, so I stopped. Yeah, eBay is painful for that kind of shit. Like, I found that, like, I was needing three at the time and no one would have more than two. So then I'd have to pay shipping for two different people. I was like, nah, fuck it. Yeah, it's gross. Um, yeah, like, I'll, pretty much everyone on these. Um, one that I feel like I'm going to get into again soon is Nostalgia, looking back on, like, cards that I wanted years and years ago. Hmm. Um, the main one I saw when I was um, looking on uh, Card Market, I think it was, was the world promo of Parrot Dragon. Super. Hmm. I kind of want that. It's not that expensive. No, it used to be back when I was only aware of eBay. Hmm. On eBay, it was many, many hundreds of dollars. Yes. And I didn't want to pay that. Yes. So, I will look into that at some point. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, next question is again from 6R6. Uh, a lot of our questions are from 6R6. Thank you. Uh, yeah, very much. Because uh, we yelled at him last week to leave more questions. True. Uh, what is something else, non yu gi related, that you are passionate about? Huh. Choose. I have, I'm fairly certain I have some kind of obsessive compulsive disorder. So like whenever I realize that like something's interesting to me, I will just spend three months just being like, this is everything in my life. At the moment it's cooking. Yeah, you are in a bit of a cooking streak, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, well, I'm definitely on a cooking spree. Hmm. We're starting to fill out things in the house that are good for cooking. I'm starting to adventure a little bit more into the cooking space. That's great. It's golf or cured meats. It's the only way to go. Yeah, true. You are you are that age now. Yeah, true. What if I cured me on the golf course? What if you cured golfers? Sounds like mass murder. No, it's, it's probably best not it's to. too, too lean, too messy. Yeah. What else do I like? <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that you've been doing <laughs> during the podcast. Again, it's six o'clock in Paris, Jake. Yeah, look. I'll with with the like I'll have a shower, I'll prop the phone up and just corner my eye, I'll be going, oh, orange invite, let's go. Must be nice. Oh, I've gotta to, gotta to step out. Well sometimes it's like that's not photos, that's me tapping. Tap, 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 tap. tap, 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 tap. Um, yeah, Pokemon stuff. Oh, wrestling. Bit of footy. A lot, of, a lot of, of wrestling, like... Play a lot of basketball. Oh yeah, that's right, yeah. Last few years has been a bit basketball related too. All this stuff is somehow jammed in the head. Badly. <laughs> Just imagine. It's so painful knowing Spain pick and roll as well as Snake Eyes combos. Oh. Um, I haven't really got any sort of side passions at the moment. Um, I just talked about that. F1, Jake. You're the F1 guy on this podcast. No, I mean, yeah, in comparison to YouTube, but it's still not nearly as much as I used to be. Um, but even then, like, I used to play piano. I used to go to the gym. Oh, yeah. I used to play well. Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy. I haven't done any of those in a very long time. Jake so... doesn't like boys. Jake likes cars and money. 
<laughs> but yeah, at some point I will need to rejoin a gym and I will bring the PS4 back from my parents' house, maybe even get a PS5, maybe splash out. Um, actually, I think if Kingdom Hearts 4 releases it's We, we all know, Jake, it's not going to be 4, it's going to be 3.8. And that's fine, I'll probably still buy it. I've bought most of the other ones. <laughs> I bought 2.8 and 2.9. There was a 2.9? <laughs> uh, in yes. Yes, there was. I think 2.9 had other stuff attached to it, though. Like, it was a few different games and then, like, a preamble to three. This was your Kingdom Hearts podcast. Look, we couldn't even cover, like, the prelude in about ten episodes. There's so much going on in that lore. Well, are you going to play them when they show up in Lorcana? No, I actually won't. You will. Look, they banned my one thing in Digimon and I dropped it like a fucking brick. And I'm not jumping into Lorcana, which is seemingly the most boring and expensive card game that's out there. Even the people who play Lorcana don't want to play Lorcana. They just want to open They just want to crack packs and sell them for fucking thousands. (laughs) It was so funny to realise that, that I was like, Oh, none of you actually want to play this card game because it's boring. You just go, you guys just want to open packs. <laughs> Which, yeah, that, that's training, like yeah. trading cards. I don't know. There's a box of the newest yeah. Pokemon set located just off camera here. Fairly sure they're Tom's. You just yeah, want yeah. to open packs and then you just lift oh, it all here. <laughs> I actually probably should check them. I was meant to take some of the it's been here for bulk weeks. out of it. Yeah, he yeah doesn't. Look, if you apply the same rule to that as you do with alcohol, it's technically yours. Oh, yeah, I mean, he's definitely gone, oh, take what you need the from that. Tax I'm man like, oh. My Pokemon cards are way tucked under everything else. I don't care about that card game anymore. Since I actually actively played Pokemon and I don't care to ever play that game ever again. Pogo's better. Yeah. Um, next question, again, from 6 out 6 We can bank some for next week if you want. <clears throat> what? Ah, that's fine. Read them all. Oh, fine. Yeah, no, we're nearly done. Um, got a long podcast. What is your favourite card from the past that was, but is no longer, a metal staple? Ganesha Elephantus. That was not a metal staple. It was a tribute summon. That's not the question. Tribute summons were good. I like Raikou. Hmm? Right, I'm ignoring my all my default answers and just I've been thinking about Raikou a little bit. And just that that card was so good. I miss Goki. I miss Phantasmic. Oh, you can play that from time to time. Yeah, but it's not a staple. Like, yeah. against some matchups, you just won't see it. Whereas, like, in its heyday, 19 times out of 20, you got to summon your fucking thing. Or they had to use an ash to fucking waste it. Yeah, I guess. God, now I I'm just that. sad about Goki. <laughs> I, I love Goki so much, but for some reason, my brain doesn't remember playing it much. Like, I played that deck a lot. I played it for, like, four or five months. I won a Worlds tournament with that deck. Yet, I'm just like... That's when I stopped. My brain's For a little bit. <laughs> I yeah, that was the not... the for it. I mean, if you want a fun thing to play before you get into heavy Oshis testing, there's your answer. Oshis is in two weeks! Yeah. We're already in heavy Oshis testing! Sure. Um, but cool. yeah, I was going to mention this earlier. Um, but with six Samurai support coming, we're going to definitely have six months of me just being able to show up to locals with an FTK. Alright, cool. cool. Hun- Hunawada in the side. <laughs> we'll just be me again. It's okay, bro. I'll teach you to FTK. I'll teach you the ways. Oh, I'm playing. I'm going to play Gimmick Puppet. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Actually, I'm going to have to play Hanawada, aren't I? Um, next question is again from 6R6. How often do you clean your kitchen scissors? I clean our kitchen scissors on the weekly. Yes. <laughs> I pretty much clean them every time I use them. Yeah, if they if there is any residual stuff on them, I will wipe it down. Yeah, I give them a deep scrub if they're ever near any raw food. I don't know if we use... Yeah, we definitely don't use our kitchen scissors to, like, cut into chicken breast and stuff. We oh, just no. slice that up. Yeah. But, like, if it's cutting, like, a, a packet of something and it's just got some powder or some oil on it, I'll still wash it down. Yeah. Like, if I cut open, like, a bag that's had meat in it, regardless of what meat it is, those get scrubbed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then the last question comes to us from IR Cool Guy. Hey. Why Konami still not put Ding Dong in Battles of Lagand? 
Well, you see, Ding Dong Doodle was in, um... Are we talking about Deng Long or are we talking about... See, it's taken suit? me a very long time to figure this out. He means Deng Long. Oh, uh, that's because uh, they, they're going to get reprinted in the deck build pack with the other cards that miss timing. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Deng Long doesn't miss timing, does it? Yeah, but everything else that it does misses timing. I even think the card that you send to then pop off later misses timing. If you don't do it right. Just do it right. Exactly. <laughs> do it right the first time. Yang Zing players. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> uh, but that does conclude us for this week. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. Uh, if you are watching along, feel free to like and subscribe. If you're listening, feel free to favourite. Uh, jump into our Discord, ask us some questions, and we'll catch you all next week. Peace. Bye.